My name is John Paul Deneen. I am the fifth John Paul in um, the family. I am 13 and I am in the seventh grade and I'm homeschooled and then I also do um, farming when um, I'm not inside. My dad is a first generation farmer and I am his, uh, he calls me his little helper and I help when it's harvest time I will drive the grain buggy to unload the combine into the, that buggy and then put it or unload the grain into the semi truck and then when it's hay season I will rake the hay and my dad will bale it and then when it is um, planting season I will um, plant a little bit. My name is John Paul Deneen III. Live in Waxahachie all my life. I've been farming here about 30 years. First generation farmer. We raise uh, wheat, corn, milo, uh, hay, run some cows. Um, my uh, son, John Paul Deneen V, is uh, uh, 13 years old. And uh, he, I've been very blessed over the years that uh, he has had an interest to come with me um, help me in, in different aspects of, of things, whether that's working on, on stuff or helping with tools, uh, you know, try and find uh, age appropriate jobs for him. But uh, as they say, he's uh, handy as a pocket on a shirt. Every day is different. Um, I do play a few video games here and there, but I really like playing outside and I enjoy helping my dad with working on the planner or the combine or hooking up the planner, and I really enjoy it. So, uh, you know, probably any of us in agriculture or even in, uh, you know, whether it's farming or ranching, can, can tell you that um, to do things all by yourself is pretty hard. Um, a lot of things you can't do all by yourself. So to have somebody that, that can help you, whether you're up under a piece of equipment and you've crawled under there and you forgot that one 10 millimeter socket that uh, you, you proverbially never can find uh, to, to help you, you know, hand you things like that. Or maybe, you know, uh, we're getting a little older, we're not quite as agile as we used to be to have uh, somebody a little smaller, a little younger, a little flexible to uh, get in some of those tight spots to, uh, that has just the right little fingers that can get in there to get something to, to help out. But, uh, you know, overall, I guess I'm, I'm most proud, or, or um, for, from my perspective, that hopefully um, as he goes through life, no matter what he chooses to do, um, maybe he'll have learned some, some skills, some life skills, whether that be mechanically with things or whether that be, um, you know, interacting with folks uh, or, you know, record keeping or different things like that that he can take with him. Uh, no matter what he chooses to do on the farm or off the farm. Um, I really enjoy working um, with our pigs. We don't have any at the moment because we have processed them all for um, pork, but I am going to get one here at the end of the month to take care of, and I'm really excited about that. I kind of want to be a rancher because I really enjoy gathering the cattle um, a lot, actually. So I think I would be a rancher or a farmer and rancher. Um, I'm not really sure yet. I hope that when he gets older and looks back on his life that uh, he can kind of relate back to that and, and be you know, uh, proud and happy of those times that he, he got to spend. It may be a little different than some of the other 13-year-olds of what their daily life looks like, uh, but I'm hoping it's something he can look back fondly on.